Good morning, guys. Hope all is well. First and foremost, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Great to have you back on board. Today is going to be my first ever vlog. I've never done one and never thought I would actually ever do one. I was always a little bit scared of doing vlogs, but as the years have gone on, I felt definitely a lot more comfortable in front of the camera doing this kind of stuff anyway. So we are now in week three of diet actually today since the last time i did a video on the food shop which i started off at 97 kilos this morning i woke up at 91.1 but loaded too many of my meals towards the evening time which meant that i probably woke up a little bit heavier than what i usually would friday i woke up at 90.8 and um, i think which is definitely a better indication of where i'm at at the moment so about i would say close to five 5.2 kilos off in these first couple of weeks which is, which is a great return on investment so everything moving well this morning it is 6:54, um so i usually wake up at 6:25 every morning come outside get george um, up who's overeating on one of his toys over there and and then i'll do my supplementation at the moment vitamin um i do all of my vitamins and supplementation health supplements in the morning so omega-3s vitamin c vitamin d i do also vitamin k and um, i'm doing some kelp at the moment which helps with boosting metabolism throughout a dieting phase and um, i'm also using this um neuro churro not big, i think it's called or neuro churro nona um which is helping from a disc perspective as I had a slip disc during the year and just some nerve root compression as well. So this is gonna help with that and also some vitamin K to help with that as well. So I usually have this with about a liter, um, about 752 a liter of water every single morning. And I'm gonna get this into me and then we're gonna go for our morning walk. So out on the road with Georgie and if anyone knows, I'm an absolute creature of habit and i'll do the same walk every single morning without fail we just always put myself and she always call it the loop it's about three and a half k steps about 15 k steps for the little man himself and then we'll get back in for meal one itself we have a busy enough day today and um, no calls this morning which is always quite nice it means i can just kind of get cracking into the day and give my current clients um absolutely everything for check-ins then we have to go get my pick up my car it's getting a little bit of work done to it have to get into an appointment in the city and then get out to train at about two and then back home then for a review call with a client and um, then running through his improvement phase so i'm looking forward to that as well so busy day no time to spare let's get cracking and we'll go from there so first protocol is always going to be george gets his meals first have to say you eat unbelievably well we're looking at fancy fetching fish bowl ripping ripping roux licking roux bowl or a chow chomping chicken bowl you eat unbelievably good quality food you eat better than us but it's not really a day for fish is it buddy i think we're going to go with the chow chomping chow chomping chicken bowl for, for the little fella look at this sit good boy so then we're going to make meal two for the day for me which is going to be 120 grams of oats 40 grams of whey isolate. Put in pink salt, six grams. Do our Saxa low salt and sprinkle. We're gonna do 15 grams of peanut butter. And last but not least, we're gonna do 100 grams of frozen berries, my favorite. My frozen blueberries are definitely my favorite. On top, easy. A minute or two to make, if even, boxed off, meal two, ready to rock. Meal two is en route. We have egg whites, we have our peppers, so you can't see from my fingers. And um, looking forward to this one, very hungry this morning. So meal one, the time is 7.54, in and around this plus or minus 20, 30 minutes is usually where I land for my meal one. Not gonna lie, it's an absolute disaster of an omelet flipping. Again, that's kind of two or three in a row now. And not to blame any tools, but I was using the bad um, frying pan, unfortunately. So I know there's a lot of YouTubers who would go and redo it, reflip it, but I don't have time for that. This is gonna be really raw and uncut, as I'm sure that you see from the quality of it so far. But this is a nice, easy breakfast that I have every day. It has my micronutrients, it has high protein, it has a little bit of fats in it as well, and low carbohydrates. And the reason for this is because I don't need a massive meal now. I know I need a massive meal towards the end of my day and my workout, 
So I backload my calories until then. I'm gonna put all the macronutrients and calories on screen now, and I'll bring you through the rest of the day. Okay, so meal one down, meal two in the bag. Um, day started and just about to walk into the office now to do my check-ins and work in there overall no coffee yet as i like to kind of use like my coffee as a bit of a reward system which is quite nice for you to do i know jamie my client uh, really enjoys this so until i have all my calls done if i have calls in the morning until i have my meals prepared until i have showered gone out for my walk with george and my half a walk into the office then i get my coffee itself So this is the workspace that I'm in at the moment, just trying to be quiet because I know people are working inside. I usually just get this little kind of hub in here every single um, day that I come in, which is really nice. I think that it's a kind of a, a shared spot, but I think that everyone just kind of goes to the same space every time. Do my check-ins from here, write out my to-do list, but first I have to make my coffee. highest priority for us right now is to be moving up in body weight which we've been actually been able to achieve this week again and um, albeit it's been a little bit of a st uh, slower in terms of week of progression of, of scale we are up on averages from last week and man we look absolutely massive in these shots i don't know if we changed the angle of the photo slightly but jesus christ this was a bit of a oh jesus oh, oh shit moment here when i see this so guys, we're here in the podcast studio in the commons where I, I do all of my work and I completely forgot that we actually had a time booked in for today to do a podcast, um, which is great. You know, I have it all, all my, my notes ready to rock anyway. So we just kind of walked in here, get everything set up. It's really cool, actually. You know, I got the little uh, the microphone and all that kind of stuff up here. I have all these mics and this kind of soundboard here with all of my garage band, everything ready to rock. So looking forward to getting, getting into this and giving you guys some value. If you haven't subscribed, um, please do so in the JCC podcast, nice and easy. And if you guys are liking the video at the moment, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up, drop a comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And what I'll always say, and something I learned from John Jude, a really good educator in this space, was go and make the change. Okay, go and make the change because if, if you, the worst thing that can happen is that you lose weight too quickly and you have to add food back in. That's the worst case scenario. And that sounds pretty good to me. The worst case scenario, if you don't make the change, you, you wait another week and the scale weight doesn't drop. It means that seven days of your process gone and you don't have a time traveling machine. You can't get those seven days back. Hey guys, so meal number two is now going in. It's a little bit later than what I usually do, 12 or half 12. Usually it's half 12 right now, 12.25. And prepared this morning, which I think you guys have seen already. Macronutrients are gonna go here. I'm looking forward to now getting this in. George is up, up from his nap, looking to try and get some food. You okay, buddy? And, and then down to get the car, and then to my appointment and training, and all that kind of stuff as well. So about two hours before my training, this will go in. So about half 12, I'm gonna train about half two. Um, and yeah, looking forward to getting into it. We'll see you guys in the next clip. Yeah, and it's, yeah, I actually think the, the arms are probably one of the biggest areas I think we can attack 
And um, I also think posteriorly, I think that that's definitely an area that I think that we will want to mm -hmm. put muscle onto. Okay, so upper body session is wrapped up. We're now about to have our post-workout meal. George, buddy, you're gonna have to chill out for two seconds, okay? And I also just realized I probably should have been wearing this the whole time because it's much better audio, um, but we'll go with it from now on uh, onwards and I'll definitely learn from the next one. That is gonna be 250 grams chicken breast, 100 grams of mixed veg via cucumber and 500 grams of sweet potato. And I didn't mean to make my sauce look like that. It's a bit of sriracha on top. Just kind of sprayed out of the bottle. Uh, unfortunately, um, pink salt, low salt, exactly the same as always. I'm gonna have this, enjoy it now. Macros are gonna be up on screen there as well. So final little bit of admin work, emails, client responses to kind of finish the day and, and also uh, to, to write up a post um, for the evening time. And I have a little Geordie beside me here, sleeping on my shoulder as always, and he loves it in this position itself. Um, gonna finish this up now. It's like I said, about half six. Um, and then final meal and then chill out for the evening. So guys, we made it to the end of the day for meal four. The time is now 7.15. I usually have this meal around seven to 7.30 somewhat. 500 grams sweet potato, 250 grams of 5% beef mince, lean beef, and veg of choice, this instance peppers and cucumber with the usual salt, the usual salt light, and also some sriracha sauce on top for flavoring as well. Really simple meal. I'm actually gonna drop the macros in here as well. But after this, chill for an hour or two, wake up tomorrow, do it all again. So I'm gonna finish the video here. Please let me know if you've liked this style of video. It's the first vlog I've ever done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you wanna see more of the train side, more of the nutrition side, me to give you a little more context, any of those kind of things, please let me know. Just drop me a DM, drop a comment in the, uh, in the video section. If you haven't also done so, please like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. I um, really, really appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to catching you guys in the next one.